Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. This is what y'all wanted? This what you've been praying for? This what you kept coming in the comment section? Hey, man, CW said this. CW said that. The fed said this. The police said this. The bitch-ass nigga said this. The bitch-ass nigga said that. All right, man, well, come on in here, man. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah, you already know. Get up in here, man. I just want to chop it up. Yeah, I don't mind nobody else uh, roasting me and talking about me. Hey, man, I just want my turn. That's all. That's all I want, man. I put it on everything, man. That's all CN want. I don't give a damn about what none of you niggas say. Just let me get my turn. You know what I mean? I, hey, anybody can say anything, but just let me get my turn. Yeah, just let me get my turn. That's all I ask for. Yeah, come in hitting the like button. Yeah, whether you're watching the live video or whether you're watching it now that I'm uh, no longer live, make sure you hit the live button. Yeah, I want all the notifications and recommendations for the video, man. Make sure, you know, little mama get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure that uh, Newport jogging suit ass nigga, you understand me, get this, man. So come in hitting the like button. Yeah, I just want to take you through some things. Hey, Helena, I hope all y'all, before I get into this, I hope y'all having a good day. I hope that you're having a good day. I hope that you're feeling blessed. I hope that you're feeling joyful. Amen. I hope that you're having a good day. And if you're just struggling with something right now, if you've been having a miserable day, if you got a problem laughing, then hopefully this motherfucking video will be the medication to your situation and help your motherfucking ass laugh any time of need. Yeah, you might just be going through some shit. You just might be going through. It might just feel like it's impossible to laugh. Amen. But that's why I'm taking the time to do this motherfucking video right now to help your motherfucking ass laugh so you can get joy and laughter in the time of need. Yeah, man, hit that like button, man. Yeah, let's get up in here and talk some shit, man. I'm going to give y'all a few more minutes, man, before I start. Yeah, we're going to go from the beginning to the ninth inning. Then we're going to have altar call. Y'all know how I do it. Come on up in here, man, and chop it up with me, man. I love y'all. Yeah. I know we're going to get to him, you know, but then I'm going to have to get a history while we do. See, they say that they don't, they be saying that we don't be getting cash apps and super chats for roastings. They say, they say that beefing and roasting is not good for YouTube. Shout out to the homie that just gave $20. So y'all make sure, man, you know, sin only be asking for no damn money, but man, make sure that you show up and show out. Yeah, because they be saying that them roastings, man, that don't make no money. And, you know what I mean? We don't be making no money off road. It's bad for business and, and all of that. I just think they ain't saying the right shit. Appreciate the five, fam. Yeah, appreciate the five. Man, let me see. All right, we almost 300 seconds in. I'm going to wait till we get up to five minutes, man. Yeah. Because I know some of y'all, everybody, damn near everybody know. But some of y'all don't, so I'm going to give you the history. But before we get started, could y'all do me a favor? Yeah, yeah, get you some water right now. Amen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, get, 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 get some water right now. That's what I need all y'all to do. Everybody get some water. Get some fruit. Yeah. Come on. We still, we still taking care of our bodies. You know what I mean? I don't want nobody to die from laughter anything so please by all means i don't want nobody dying on me so yeah get you some water get you some fruit and while i'm waiting on y'all what do i got 30 seconds before it go five minutes let me put some of this fiji you know what i mean in my system right now hold on oh that hit Oh, man, that was beautiful. So listen, <clears throat> as you know, about a good two months ago, um, 
you know, uh, Charleston invited Mob James, I guess, to come out to Texas. They had a little misunderstanding. You know, Mob James turned up on Charleston. Uh, Charleston fans didn't keep it real. They made justifiable excuses. He, the, he pretty much basically used his little two-cent mouthpiece to deceive the people into thinking that he wasn't marked or he wasn't punk. You know what I mean? Um, so basically he was in his feelings about some of the things that I said when I gave commentary, you know, on what happened between him and Mob James. Okay. Cause honestly, he really wasn't thinking about me, but you know, his channel has started dying a little bit. So he wanted to use sinful to pee. And hopefully when he had did all of them four, five videos, no matter, I don't know how many videos he did. He was hoping that I responded to help him light up. But I was like, no, I'm not gonna respond instantly. You know what I mean? Because I know you cool with your daddy. So I'm just gonna wait till your daddy allow you to come back on this platform. And once your daddy, Vlad, once the pimping call you ho to come back on the platform, you know what I mean? Uh, that's when I'm gonna start going in on your bitch ass. No, 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 I ain't gonna go in on you bitch when, uh, you doing 3,000 video, uh, views and shit, you know what I mean, for a, a two-hour video and all of that shit. No, nah, bitch, I'm going to wait till you jump your dusty ass on Vlad and your daddy sit up there and summons you to come on his platform. Then I'm going to sit up there, you know what I mean, I said, whether he going to say cheese or Vlad or whatever. But when his daddy Vlad call him, when he try to show out for this white man again, you know what I mean? Uh, and try to get all of this attention. That's when I'm going to take off my belt and spank his motherfucking ass. You know what I mean? For that lame ass shit he was saying that y'all was saying that was a roaster. I heard, I didn't even listen to that shit in this entirety, man. You know what I mean? It was the same old shit. Wasn't nothing clever. Wasn't nothing comical. It was just basically regurgitated ass shit that all the little YouTubers want to use from a case from 08 that I never got convicted for. Like, Man, hey, if you want to do a two-hour live, man, talking about what I did with my dick ignorantly in 2008, hey, be my guest, bitch. You know what I mean? Do your thing. You know, but the thing is, going back to what I said, matter of fact, let me help y'all out because some of y'all didn't get a chance to hear that. This is why, you know what I mean, Charlatan had got in his feelings. Hold on. Let me just, just play a snippet of that. He was mad on my commentary about this. And I don't Listen, play the when, when I now. came, I would have been ready if you were still play. screaming. But, but if you were still screaming, I would have showed up ready. Listen to what I'm saying. What are you talking about, man? This is super important. This is super important. You niggas think y'all the baddest oh. motherfuckers in the world? I do. I do too. I do. I'm that nigga. I my think nigga. that too, James. I'm that nigga. I oh. think that too. I'm oh. that motherfucking oh. blood that walked this space, my nigga. I think that too, my nigga. Come on. Once he got in his face, his volume lowered down. See, Charleston remind me, you know, like your bitch or your baby mama or girlfriend or something like that. She hollering and screaming. And once, you know, a man getting her face and shit, you know what I mean? She quiet down. Like, woman, I told you to shut the fuck up. I got a voice too. I got a voice too. I got a voice too. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I got a voice too. That's exactly what this is. Bitch, be the fuck quiet. Don't say nothing else. No, I got a right too. Just because I'm a woman, I got a right to say something. Look, look, watch this. Too, my nigga. Jack, you know I think it's too, my nigga. 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 I think it's too, Say you ready for it. Oh, so you back on that. So you back on that. So you game banging again. So you back on that. Bitch, we not motherfucker. We, 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 we not deceived. We not your people over there. Soon as that nigga turned up on your motherfucking ass, he go your bitch ass talking about, so you back on that. So you back on that. So you game banging again. So you an active paru now. Bitch, we know that you marked out. We know that you just be talking crazy on YouTube, that you really ain't about that business, hoe. 
talking about I had Uncle Ruru and Uncle Sugaru and my cousin Strip from New Orleans and you know what I mean my cousin from Backdoor Mississippi and my other cousin from nowhere to be found Texas all my family and friends was there so they were bitch that didn't mean a goddamn thing bitch when that motherfucking dark skinned nigga was in your motherfucking face you were scared as a motherfucker you went from motherfucking charlatan white to motherfucking Jada Pinkett nigga you understand me that's the fuck you did you turned into a motherfucking damsel in distress bitch the moment that motherfucker sit up there tell me you want it tell me you want it oh so you back on it again you back on it again james you back on it again i'm like boy boy yeah. <laughs> boy you a bitch you a bitch man Come on, man. You turned into motherfucking Minnie Rippleton. This nigga turned into Miss Chalet and shit. Yeah, you back on? You back on it again, Jay? Like, come on, man. That's why I couldn't understand when motherfuckers was actually getting in my motherfucking comment section talking about Charles said, he said this and he said that. I'm in my mind like, wait a minute. Matter of fact, let me help y'all out. Wait a minute. I'm just trying to show y'all you know, why was it just, why was, why was y'all on me like that? Why was it like, oh my God, seeing he said, he said, like, wait a minute. I was like, what you talking about the police? You talking about the dude that be playing police ass games? That's who y'all want me to respond to? Hold on, hold on. You talking about this nigga? Hold on, let's, let me, let me let you know who you talking about. You, you talking about this nigga right here? This oh, is Nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. You better do y'all homework. You better do y'all motherfucking homework, nigga. So, nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. You better do y'all homework. You better do y'all motherfucking homework, nigga. So, boys. Nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. You better do y'all homework. You better do y'all motherfucking homework, nigga. So, boys, nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland. That's who y'all wanted me to respond to? You know my lifestyle. You know I'm active in the lifestyle. And this is who you wanted me to respond to. Let me let y'all hear this shit again. What you say, Char what you say, Charlatan? Boys, nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. You better do y'all homework. You better do y'all motherfucking homework, nigga. So, boys, nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. You better do y'all homework. And y'all was just like, Little bitches, like, y'all was sitting over there like a, a, a white girl happy to see a big black dick for the first time. Y'all was just so happy for me to hurry up and respond. Respond to what? A nigga that's playing police games? Respond to what? A failure in life? Respond to what? What are you talking about, good looking man on the cash app? Dan, I just seen you. I was just doing that. Thank you for the 100 on PayPal. Yeah, I told y'all, they say that they don't be sending money doing these roastings and rebukings. Like I said, man, you know, man, I, I, I disagree with that. I just think y'all ain't funny. But no, hold on, hold on. Y'all wanted me to respond to this. I want to play that just one more time. To this? Boys, nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. You better do y'all homework. Are you serious? You got so-called street niggas trying to compel me to hurry up and sit up there and get involved with a goofy like this. The nigga a certified goofy and y'all sitting over there talking about some CW said, CW, good looking for the five, man. You know what I mean? CW said, CW said, are you serious? You wanted me to get into it with a goofy that said this? This grave, nigga, if it was down here in Texas right now. I'd piss on Nipsey Hussle grave, nigga, if it was down here, nigga. Who started Fire Fire Crip? I bet they burning in hell right now, nigga. 
Fuck y'all, everything y'all stand for, 55 Street Crips, nigga. Y'all got a dumbass, retarded, mental, retarded ass, mental patient. Nigga, keep it up, y'all. Say. Hey, let me say this. Now, if he was a righteous individual, if he was a man of God, if he was a square, standing on principle, coming against gangbanging, I would respect it. But see, what you idiots fail to realize, see, discernment is a motherfucker. He's basically, you know what I mean? He don't give a damn about, you know what I mean, uh, black people. No, man, that's why he say the Mackin. You know what I mean? He's using deception. He's using con game on you slow brain, gameless motherfuckers. And you too stupid to realize that. He say things to basically provoke y'all. You know what I mean? Come on, man. This is a dude that said that he's a pimp. Now watch this. This is a dude that says he's a uh, was a pimp before. Now this is a guy that said that he was pimping. So you went from being the pimping to not saying. Oh, nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. You went from saying that you was a crip and saying that you was a gangbanger, you was doing all of that, to now, what? What you say? Nigga, I do training for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Human Trafficking Division. Come on, man. Now, like I said, now, if it's for a righteousness, if an individual is possessing salvation that they're professing to have, I can respect it. If you're a full-fledged, 100% authentic square, that's really trying to get game banging out of the community to make things safer for the children and the generations to come. But no, you're just getting on the platform saying things for shock value. You just thinking of what can you say, you know what I mean, that's outrageous and act outlandish and rambunctious and make people gravitate to you. That's what you own. He's not for a righteous cause. He's just saying anything and everything to make people gravitate to his platform so he can generate some money. And that's another motherfucking thing. I'm tired of this nigga talking about some, he get money. Did you see that Hollywood Park chain that that nigga have on, on Vlad? Man, you better quit it out. Talking about some, you been getting money, boy. Boy, you better quit it out. You really better quit. <laughs> you better, <laughs> Char hey, Charlatan White, you better cut it out, man. Talking about some, you get money, man. You know what I mean? Niggas is in the motherfucking Harriet Tubman Sojourner Truth House in Texas and shit talking about some they get money. You know what I mean? Knock that shit off, man. Oh, they be like, see, and it got size on it. It's big. Yeah, it's big. His great-grandmama left that to the family. The great-grandmama passed that, you understand me, to the grandmother. The grandmama gave it to the mother, and the mother gave it to his ass. That's a family house, man. That man ain't done no hustling or anything to uh, get to that. Lee Hall, man, appreciate that, fam. Good looking, famo. You know what I mean? Appreciate Lee. I always can count on Lee gonna always show support to the game. Come on, man. That's a family house, man. You know what I mean? Niggas is coming out with the Roots house and shit, talking about some y'all ain't living like this. Come on, man. Knock that shit off, man. You know what I mean? And see, he got to understand it's a difference from being funny and just being a motherfucker that's just, people just like laughing at you. You know what I mean? You got one eye, you know what I mean? You look dusty, you driving, you understand me? Old ass motherfucking baby mama, 90s Benzes and shit. You know what I mean? And you getting on basically acting like you egotistical, like you, you know what I mean? You arrogant, you have money. So of course, people are gonna laugh, but he's been deceived into actually thinking that he's funny. You know what I mean? Now, now watch this. Now, here's the individual that spoke on my case, you know, what I did ignorantly with my dick. But this is what he does knowledge with knowledge of his dick. Let's play what Charleston be doing with it. Now, wait a minute. Now, he talking about me, basically, you understand me, doing something ignorantly, you know what I mean, with a teenager, with a girl. But he's sending dick pictures to men. Y'all watching somebody that send dick pictures to men. I'm trying to understand that. I don't understand that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. 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 
Any nigga that sit up there, you understand me, and sends a dick picture to a man, you are a sex offender all the <laughs> You already a sex offender. Come on, man. Them, them niggas ain't asked you to send dick pictures to men. This man said, that man be sending gay porn and dick pictures to men, and y'all sitting up there talking about sin. You got to respond back to him. You got to respond. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all, man? This man fucking with Homeland Security and sending gay porn and dick pictures and shit. He's sending his dick and niggas phones and y'all talking about some sin. You, you, you got to hurry up and respond back. <laughs> what? Okay, let's watch this. Come on. Let's go. Pictures right there, right? Well, them a bunch of pictures. Oh, you see all them pictures? Them a bunch of pictures. Them a bunch of pictures. You see all them pictures? Them a bunch of pictures I sent to Frederick. <laughs> you gay little bitch. What make me gay? You sent dick pics to a man and all. Nigga, you been asking for this. You told me your mouth was good. You told me you sucked dick. You so you told me you sucked dick, nigga. Every picture that comes to my phone goes to my daughter's phone because our iCloud well, is connected. Well, take it to the police then, nigga. Yeah, well, take, 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 it, take it to the police then, nigga. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, well, let your daughter see it or shut up then, nigga. Nah, yeah, you shouldn't have been playing tough. Now, you see how, you see how Crip turned? You see how sensible they get? Now he want to get sensible. Now, now that dick offend him so bad, now he putting his daughter in it. Me and you got a recorded consensual phone conversation yesterday. Talking sexual, buddy, me and you. Wait a minute. You have a consensual conversation with a man having a sexual conversation? P appreciate the five. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. You and this man on the phone... Y'all having a sexual conversation. I understand that it's consensual. Y'all both came on one accord. It's a mutual agreement that both of y'all dicks is hard. You want to talk sexual to one another. But you know what I mean? You have a recorded con You Not only, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not only are you gay, <laughs> not only do you want to sit up there and have phone sex, with another man, but the phone sex got so good that the charlatan you recorded it. You said, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, this shit getting so good, I got to record this shit." <laughs> you said, "You said, wait a minute, wait a minute, this shit's so motherfucking beautiful, man. Let me re let me record it." That's what he said. Hold on, man. Y'all think I'm bullshitting? Let's go back. Hold on. What you say, Charleston? Playing tough. Now you see how you see how Crip turn. You see how sensible they get. Now he want to get sensible. Now now that dick offend him so bad. Now he putting his daughter in it. Me and you got a recorded consensual phone conversation yesterday. Talking sexual, buddy. Me and you. And you've been calling me from this number talking sexual. See. So this is the guy that they was sitting over there seeing. You just gotta respond. You just gotta respond. You just got to respond. Are you serious? Hold on. Let me play that one more time. Y'all think this, this the guy, this the guy that these niggas was in my comment section, got in my DM, simple to pee, that nigga, and sit up there and got this dusty ass motherfucking, you understand me, uh, teeth. Man, have you seen the inside of this man's mouth? And this the nigga that y'all was actually like seeing, seeing, trying to get my attention for weeks. Sitting over there for this nigga. Are you serious? A nigga that's sending dick pictures and shit to a man. That's funny to y'all. Like, ooh, he funny as hell. Man, you got to see Charles Dwight. Man, he be sending his dick to men. Are you serious? Man, Charles Dwight, man, he be masturbating. And, you know, he wait till his dick get fully erected, takes pictures of his dick, and sends it to men's phone numbers. And goes live to talk about it. Then calls these men and have sexual conversations and record it. Does this seem like somebody that should be passing judgment or presiding over judgment for crips, for bloods, for pyrus, for pimps? Is this somebody that should be having any conversation pertaining to judgment? Is this anybody that should be trying to make anybody feel condemnation? Hell the fuck no. Get my likes up, man. Get my likes up. If you ain't here, man, make sure you hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Yeah, make sure you hit that bell. Yeah, this is my baby channel. 
Yeah, but I, uh, it's about to be a lot of sacrificial lambs, man, around this motherfucker. So, yeah, this channel going to be on the rise. Yeah, I might let my big channel breathe for a minute. I need to start going live, man. It's a lot of niggas that, you understand me, need rebuking around this motherfucker. You know? But this, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Let's hear what Lil Mama said again. What you say, Grandmama? Come on. What you say? You see all them pictures? Them a bunch of pictures. Them a bunch of pictures. You see all them pictures? Them a bunch of pictures I sent to Fred. He's, and, and, and that's the cold part about it. You can't just look at charlatan, you know, funny. You got to look at all of the guys that subscribed over there. You got to look at all of the guys that actually hit the subscribe button and the bell at a channel where a guy brags about sending dick pictures to men. That means that they're in agreement with that. See, the men in my channel... The reason why they're there, because they're in agreement with the game. As the scripture says, how can two walk together except they be agreed? Amos 3 and 3. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? So in other words, the reason why y'all subscribe at the Patreon, my YouTube, because you're in agreement with the game. Whether you know, whether you're in the game or not. You know what I mean? You in agreement with the game. The game is so impeccable that it's applicable to your lifestyle. So you in agreement with the game. But see, the reason why they subscribed over there to uh, Charlatan White is because they in agreement with a guy sending dick pictures to men. They in agreement with a guy that's having consensual, sexual, recorded conversations with another man. They in agreement with that. They're in agreement with a guy that brags on, you know what I mean, uh, raping white women. They're in agreement with that. They laugh at that. That's entertaining. See, like Dre said, the revelation is in the why. Why is that entertaining to a bunch of males that profess to be men? A guy that's making jokes. Com what's comical about raping a woman? What's laughable about that? What's laughable about taking some pussy? No matter what the color of the woman is, what is laughable about taking pussy? What's funny about that? How is, the, how is he considered to be a real nigga? How? What are you talking about? See, like I said, you have to pay attention when people uh, play about certain things. You know, and try to make a joke out of it. You know what I mean? No, that's really you. You're entertaining that spirit. You're entertaining the spirit of homosexuality. You're entertaining the spirit of rape. He's entertaining that. You cannot tell me that a heterosexual man is going to take a picture of his penis and send it to the number of another man. You can't convince me of that. If I had to choose between my history in his history, repeat my shit over again. Because I ain't got nothing to do with snitching, and I ain't got nothing to do with homosexuality, man. Run my shit over again. I give a less fuck what you motherfucker. P, she was 14. Man, run that shit over again. I don't have nothing to do with men. I don't have nothing to do with snitching. So it is what the fuck it is. You know what I mean? I ain't got nothing to do with no damn man. There's nothing within me Appreciate that, Rob. There's nothing within me that would compel me to say, you know what? I think this is funny. I think this is entertaining. I think my crowd will find this quite comical. See, the people that I'm presiding over, if I was to send my, my dick to a man's phone, you would see a, a big portion, damn near all my portion, you would see the male population leave me. It's some real niggas following me. It's some real pimps following me. It's some real legit square L7 career having heterosexual men that's following me. If I ever did anything abominable like that, my following would have left me. The fact that he even has individuals that tune in, it lets me know that you are in full agreement with the spirit of homosexuality and rape. That ain't nothing to play about. That's why I told you guys, you cannot take what anybody says seriously. Because you will have one end with somebody trying to make bring condemnation and make you feel 
bad or sad or for something that supposedly or allegedly or never happened. And then this nigga sitting over there supporting and promoting rape. Then this nigga sitting over there evangelizing his dick in niggas phones and shit. Come on, man. Knock that shit off. You know, but I'm going to sit up there and I'm going to tell you niggas this, man. You know what I mean? You can listen to whoever that you want to listen to. But like I said, we in the day of the coward. What you say, sin? The day of the coward. You know, when niggas basically can speak on real niggas or speak against real niggas, but because it's on the internet, the goofy will be glorified to be a real nigga. Do you believe that Charlatan White would actually call Big U a bitch to his face? Do you actually believe if Big U and Charlatan White were cellmates? Do you believe that Charlatan would have the word bitch proceeding out of his mouth? Please, you know, it's easy to put on an Oscar Award winning performance as if you that nigga on the Internet. You know what I mean? The reason why that bitch got all of the motherfucking guns and shit like that, because that bitch in fear of her life. That bitch know she done said some things that she ain't had no goddamn business saying. And you would think by her being an older woman, she wouldn't even conduct her motherfucking self like that. You too old, bitch, to be acting like that. You old enough to be somebody's grandmama, charlatan. And you just sitting over there conducting yourself any kind of way. And then somebody told me she's supposed to be a Christian. You supposed to be a woman of God, charlatan. Why are you, uh, why are you acting like this? You supposed to be a virtuous woman. Here you is supposed to be a woman of God. And you just on here just acting outrageous, bitch. Where's your manners? Bitch just tripping. You know what I mean? And the way she be talking against Crips and speaking on the Cripping all the time, I think a Crip did something to uh, Charlatan. That's just my opinion. I think Charlatan was touched by a Crip. I think a Crip offended Charlatan's booty hole or offended his mouth. I think he's been touched inappropriately. Something happened. Because when he speaks on the Cripping, I notice that there's a tenderness there. There's a bitterness there. Yes, Lord, I, I, I see it right now. I see the vision. There's a, a spirit of bitterness in Sister uh, White. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Sister White, if you're listening right now, there is a spirit of misery. There's a spirit of bitterness in you right now. You're, you're asking God to touch you and heal you from what happened in your childhood. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Sister White is listening right now. She just ain't saying nothing, but... Sister White, I want you to know that God is able. Amen. We're going to have altar call at the end. But I want you to know that God is able. Amen. I know that, you know, a crip touched you or did something to you, violated you. And ever since then, you've been buying all the guns that you can buy because somebody did something with their gun. I don't know if uh, somebody bambarded you. You know what I mean? I don't know. But see, touch somebody and say the spirit of Hassan Campbell. See, we seen so many YouTubers, appreciate that 40 fam. We seen so many YouTubers, you know, act overtly gangster, act hard. Amen. And then when you allow the spirit of discernment to minister to you, you want to say like, why is he, why is he a super crib? Or why is he a super blood? Or why he got all of these bodies? Or why he got all of these guns? I want to tell you, there's a reason why, you know, these guys go so hard to show you that they're masculine or go so hard to show you that they gangster or go so hard to show you that they'll shoot somebody. That's because nines out of 10, something happened in their childhood that wasn't supposed to happen. Amen. Uh, charlatan wasn't protected the way that he should have been protected. Amen. And that's why he's confused. Amen. Because I, I noticed that I said, well, goddamn, you know, uh, the bitch used to the bitch said she used to hustle. The bitch said she was a crib. And then the bitch said that she was a pimp. And now the bitch uh, trying to be the bottom bitch for Vlad. I like, man, this bitch is confused. Amen. And I know that God's word, God is not the author of confusion. So as I began to sit back and really just study 
Sister White, you know, Charlotte. I said, Lord, you know, show me. You know what I mean? Why is this sister so confused? Why is she going from one, you know what I mean, energy to another energy, one vibration to another vibration, one uh, demonic spirit to another demonic spirit? You know what I mean? Why? What's going on with Sister Charlotte and White? What's going on? Lord, show me the vision. Show me the vision. Amen. And I began to see a confused, perplexed, bewildered, you know, ass bitch. I seen a bitch ass nigga, you know what I mean? And, and, and motherfucking, you understand me? Um, old English. He, now, see, he spoke on in old English, but you look like you, you drink that yourself, sir. You tried to speak on 5-5 five, five Crip, but the truth is, Charlatan looked like a model for old English. Why he talking? You know, so I began to just see, you know what I mean, this nigga, you know what I mean, with, with four loco jogging suits on and shit like that. So I began to see the vision. I said, show me the vision, Lord, the vision. Touch somebody and say the vision. So I began to see this dusty ass nigga because I was trying to understand, you know, what happened. And see, I began to understand Mob James, God at you. See, God used whoever he want to use. Touch somebody and say, God use whoever he want to use. Uh, God began to use, you know, Mob James. Mob James said he failed in everything that he tried to do. I said, oh, mm. And I said, so wait a minute. So everything that Charleston ever tried to do, he failed in because there is no reputable, authentic representation that can give confirmation that Charleston was some representation of some pimping. Yeah, you won't never find no true, authentic hoe saying that basically she was uh, sleeping with strangers and putting her life in danger and seducing and reducing the world to bring the world back to Charlatan. You won't hear it. You know what I mean? You just won't hear it. You know, because the bitch wasn't doing no pimping. And so that's why she's found her role now as a hoe. See, the pimping didn't fit the bitch. Tell somebody and say the pimping didn't fit the bitch. But the hoeing has fit the bitch. You know, now, you know, the spirit of uh, the hoe is there. And you say, see, and how is that? Because any time that you criticize and minimize every legendary or extraordinary black man, whether he's in carnality, criminality, spirituality, and you get into a continuity of verbally crucifying the black man, brother, you are no different than every other Jezebel ass motherfucking bitch that the white man is using to crucify the black man right now. You got that same motherfucking spirit in you. Touch somebody and say he got that same bitch ass spirit. And because you are bound by the spirit of bitch ass nigga, it keeps you evangelizing, you know what I mean, hatred towards your own people by getting on the white man's platform and speaking against the black man. See, because if you actually had a word from God, if you actually had the true gospel, you wouldn't have to sit up there and say things for shock value for attention. You would have the anointing of God. See, when you got the anointing of God and the Shekinah of God is covering your life, you don't need antics. You don't have to sit up there and uh, comply to foolishness to get fools to sit up there and gravitate to you. The anointing will just be with you. But due to the fact that you're not anointed and appointed by God and by you being a fraud, you're basically complying to foolishness to get the attentions of fools. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. And so by you being a, 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 a ignorant ass, bitch ass nigga, you sit up there, you understand me, and do things for the kids. And by you doing a few positive things, you think that that's going to be the justifiable reasons on why people shouldn't speak against you or say nothing against you, you know what I mean, because you have done something for the children. Amen. But I want you guys to understand that whenever you see the inspiration of something, you know, you can tell whether or not it's spiritual or whether basically if it's demonic. Don't just look at what a person is saying and doing. Look for the inspiration of why they're saying what they're saying and doing what they're doing. Amen. And if you allow 
you know what I mean, discernment to, if you allow the eyes, you know, your spiritual eyes to look at the situation, you will see that this individual is evil. This individual is a fraud. This individual is a male actress. This individual is not authentic. This individual is doing things for vain glory. Amen. There's a difference from doing something to the glory of God and doing it for vain glory. He's not doing it for the glory of God. He's doing it for vain glory. Everything out of his mouth. Look at everything I've done. I did everything in a year. All I had to do was I had to dis pimp C. A dead man. Look at where I'm at now. I'm getting $5,000. You know, everybody calling me and they want me to do a show. And all I have to do is disrespect the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Look at everything now. I'm getting all of these views. You know what I mean? Everybody calling me. Everybody want me on their platform. And all I had to do was disrespect and say I spit and piss on the grave of, of Nipsey Hussle. Everybody calling my phone and everybody giving me the views and I, I, I'm blowing up like the world trade all because, you know, all I had to do was disrespect Bloods and Crips and, you know, California. That's that's all I had to do. All I had to do was attack black men on white platforms to blow up. That's all I had to do. All I had to do was go after niggas. You know what I mean? For the Jewish man and the white man to exalt me. All I had to do was verbally crucify my own people. That's all I had to do. And man, I'm blowing up. All I had to do was sit up there, you know what I mean, and say that, uh, you know, Gonzo, you know what I mean, had to disrespect him after he died. Uh, all I had to do was disrespect Jay Prince, you know what I mean, to be as hot as I am now. All I had to do was say disrespectful things, you know, when DMX died to be hot. And see, you never said nothing profound. You never gave revelation. All you did was have conversations about men that made it to the final destination of a graveyard. And you think that you profound. You think that you uh, articulate or intelligent simply because people actually watch a dumb old ass motherfucking decrepit elderly looking ass bitch speak on dead people. And you, th you think that's legendary? Bitch, you're sadly mistaken. Touch somebody and say you're sadly mistaken. You know, so I just had to sit up there, you understand me, and come through like I come through, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, and let you guys know really how it's done, because that, that shit that he called a roasting, that's not a roasting. See, this right here, this is what you call that real shit, but it's a roasting, but I'm still giving you substance and intelligence in between. That's how you really do it. That's not how you do it, putting your ugly ass face and, and putting one eye in the screen and say, get sinful to pee uh, up here. That's, that's, not how you, that's not how you do it. Take notes, son. Take notes. Take notes. Tell somebody and take notes. You know, another thing I want people to understand is, you know, sin has, I've taken a year off YouTube. I've taken months off YouTube. Like, Come on, man. If I was really trying to be the biggest YouTuber and that's the, what I was wanting to do, I think that I'm talented enough. I think that I'm intelligent and gamed up enough that I could have done that by now. And I know that to be true because I see other YouTubers stealing my shit, converting my shit, perverting my shit. You understand me and living off my shit. That's how I know. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You niggas, you niggas know, man, that if I wanted to be the biggest YouTuber and that, that was the thing for me to do, if I wanted to sit up there, man, I would have been at least hundreds of thousands of subscribers by now, man. Stop playing with me. Knock that shit off. I told you a minute ago that I wasn't going on Vlad platform. I've been told you that. You know what I mean? I've been told you that you would never see me on uh, uh, soft white underbelly and all of that. You know, no disrespect to them. They doing their thing. But I told you that we need to stay amongst each other. Unity, you know what I mean, generate currency. The white man already got his bread. The Jewish man already got his bread. I never understood Bloods and Crips, you know what I mean, going on other platforms other than Alex or Kev Mack. 
You know what I mean? I never understood. They, they sitting over there reaping off the benefit. Now, let me show you the spirit of hope. This bitch ass nigga got on the platform talking about some, man, I made 200,000 views in one day. Now, here this bitch looking like she a day over 60. She looking like she's 60 years old by the grace of God. And this bitch bragging about getting 200,000 views in one day. And bitch, you were speaking about R. Kelly when uh, he was found guilty. What, you, what did you think you was going to happen? If you're on a platform that's 5 million subscribers and R. Kelly was just found guilty, bitch, do you actually think that you went 200,000 views because it was you? No, nigga, that was Vlad and R. Kelly, nigga, and your dusty ass was just used as a vessel, nigga, to speak on the situation and reiterate something that I said damn near a year ago. I've been told my people damn near a year ago that R. Kelly was going to lose trial. Bitch, that ain't nothing. The shit that these niggas be saying that y'all be ooing and on over sin then been said it. Come on, man. Keep that shit 100. The nigga ain't gave y'all no motherfucking uh, revelation. No. In every conversation that he have, he got to sit up there and minimize the black man. He got to verbally crucify the black man. He ain't never sat up there and gave you nothing, gave you young people something, you understand me, for you to elevate and educate. No, he has not. He's promoted homosexuality to you. He's promoted rape to you. Come on, man. You got young, impressionable young men that don't got fathers and things in the home, and they uh, got BET and MTV and YouTube raising them, and they getting on YouTube, and they laughing at some older dude. This supposed to be a, a OG, and he's sitting over there sending dick pictures to another man. Come on now. Stop it. Hold on. And y'all, and, 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 that's, and that's how you know a nigga a homosexual if he coming in talking about some uh, uh, charlatan uh, the great. That he letting you know that he liked that dick picture. Yeah, the moment that you seen that, that was a guy that was in agreement, you know, with that. Now, hold on. Let me let you hear something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Now, this is a guy that not only brags about no. endeavoring to rape white women, but let's see how, you understand me, uh, Charlatan White feels about a white man's booty. I ain't allowed to ask him. Say, you got to say, I wouldn't give a damn. You can show up in jail like you're here with this kind of hair on your head as a white boy, with these kind of gold teeth. Them niggas still want to fuck you. You still a white boy, and boy ain't nothing like a white boy booty in jail. I ain't not to ask them. Say, you can say I wouldn't give a damn. You can show up in jail like you're here with this kind of hair on your head as a white boy, with these kind of gold teeth. Them niggas still want to fuck you. You, you know what I mean? Hold, hold on for a minute. Hello? Hi. I'm live right now. Oh, I apologize. Ain't nothing like a white boy booted in jail. I ain't allowed to ask them. Say, you can say, I wouldn't give a damn. You can show up in jail like you're here with this kind of hair on your head as a white boy. With these kind of gold teeth. Them niggas still want to fuck you. You still a white boy, and boy ain't nothing like a white boy booty in jail. I ain't not to ask them. Ain't nothing like a white boy's booty in jail. So the next time that you see a guy in the comment section talking about, man, Charlatan, man, he, you know what I mean, he OG, or, you know what I mean, he the greater, he the legend, you know what I mean? Hold on, what, 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 what did Charlatan say? About the white man's booty? Hold on. Niggas still want to fuck you. You still a white boy, and boy ain't nothing like a white boy booty in jail. I ain't not to ask him. Say, you can say, I wouldn't give a damn. You can show up in jail like you're here with this kind of hair on your head as a white boy. With these kind of gold teeth. Them niggas still want to fuck you. You still a white boy, and boy ain't nothing like a white boy booty in jail. I ain't not to ask him. Say, Ain't nothing like a white boy's booty in, in jail. This is, <laughs> I feel like what they be saying, this is your king? This is, <laughs> this is your king? 
The guy, hold on, hold on. It ain't over. Hold on, let me play this. Come on. You will rape your sister. Nigga, we'll do you bad, white boy. A white boy with gold teeth. Nigga, you couldn't even do it. You Damn neighbors. A white boy like you, nigga, we'll, what? we'll rape your mama. Nigga, we'll rape your sister. Nigga, we'll do you bad, white boy. A white boy with gold teeth. Nigga, you couldn't even do it. You Damn neighbors. A white boy like you, nigga, we'll, what? we'll rape your mama. Nigga, we'll rape your sister. Nigga, we'll do you bad, white boy. A white boy with gold teeth. Nigga, you couldn't even do it. You a white boy like you, nigga, we'll what? We'll rape your mama, nigga, we'll rape your sister, nigga, we'll do you bad, white boy. A white boy with gold teeth, nigga, you couldn't even do it. You damn neighbors. A white boy like you, nigga, we'll what? We'll rape your mama, nigga, we'll rape your sister, nigga, we'll do you bad, white boy. A white boy with gold teeth, nigga, you couldn't even do it. You Damn neighbors. A white boy like you, nigga, we'll what? We'll rape your mama, nigga, we'll rape your sister, nigga, we'll do you bad, white boy. A white boy with gold teeth, nigga, you couldn't even do it. Now, what I want to say is, appreciate that five, fam. What I want to say is, you know, when you want the truth out of an individual, when you want the truth out of out of an individual, make them mad. When you want a revelation about the character of an individual, get them angry. Get them angry. If you want to see the true intent of heart, see what they say when they mad. See what they say when they angry. If you want to see, you know what I mean, the truth about a person's sexual preference, hey man, you know what I mean? Get them into uh, something like that. Come on. So not only, you know, ain't nothing like a, uh, he said that ain't nothing like a white booty, uh, a white man's booty in jail, but he's saying that he's going to rape, you know what I mean? The, the sister, the mama, you know what I mean? Oh, you, you thought probably I was done, didn't you? Hold on. Let me, let me see something else. We didn't know how to get pussy as a little bitty boy. You don't know how to ask back then, especially not during the eighties. It was no manuscript and no rule book on how to get pussy. Mm -hmm. We used to watch movies like Ferris who book on how to get pussy. Nasty, disgusting feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see one of them white girls, we used to rape our friends. It was a just nasty, disgusting feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see one of them white girls, we used to rape our friends. It was a just nasty, disgusting feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see one of them white girls, we used to rape our friends. It was a just nasty, disgusting feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see one of them white girls, we used to rape our friends. It was a just nasty, disgusting feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see one of them white girls, we used to rape our friends. It was a... Wait a minute. So, you said that he's the great? You said that he's a legend? You think that he's funny? No, no. Well, I'm just going to say this to you guys, man. We got a different definition of what... You know what I mean? Funny is, man. You know, because I don't think that a man, a white boy uh, booty getting taken, you know, I don't think that's funny. Uh, I don't think, you know what I mean, uh, 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 raping mothers and, and, and sisters and things like that. I don't think that's funny. I don't think sending dick pictures to a grown ass man. I don't think that's funny. I don't think sending gay porn to a man's phone. I don't think that's funny. You know what I mean? Show me the show me the laughter in that. You guys got a funny sense of humor. Ladies, ladies, you got to study them niggas. You know what I mean? These niggas got a, a funny sense of humor, man. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click on the subscribe and bell button right now. Yeah, get my likes all the way up. Yeah, yeah, hit the like button. Yeah, hit the bell, share the video, get in the comment section. Share the video over there. Make sure, make sure that uh Sister White see this. I want I want the bitch to see this. Cause y'all just kept on. She just kept going live all night. You know what I mean? Doing six videos or seven. What how many videos she did? Y'all was just, you know, she said this. She said, I'm in my mind like, you mean the dude that be bragging about calling the police on people? You think, wait a minute, you talking about the nigga that said he would work with the feds? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, sit up there, you understand me, and arrest, 
you know, uh, all the Crips and Bloods and, you know what I mean? Like, I can understand if you were a square dude, but as a street nigga, a street man, a street nigga talk, talking about some, man, you got to respond back to the dude that said he going to work with the feds. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 got to respond back. You got to hurry up and respond back. You know what I mean to the dude that said ain't nothing like a white boy's booty in jail. That's what I say. We got we got different sense of humor. See, you think that's funny. I don't think that's funny. You got a different. You got a man. You guys are dangerous, man. You know what I mean. You got it, man. You guys definition of comedy. It's just way different than mine, man. You know what I mean? Y'all wild. You know what I mean? Y'all wild, man. But like I said, you know, something happened in Charlatan's uh, childhood. You know what I mean? A crip offended him, did something that he shouldn't have did. You know what I mean? And that's what happened to a lot of these boys. You know, they want to kill everything moving or if they're not killing everything moving. You know what I mean? They got, they got to pick up a bunch of guns and things like that. You know what I mean? To portray an image that's not them. You know, that's not that's not you. That's not you, Charlatan. We found that, like I said, we saw the real you when when Mob James got in your face and said, say you want it. Say you want it. You know what I mean? And when you said, oh, so you own it again. You own it again. And you changed your voice. You went from baritone to first soprano in your voice, the moment that you went from Barry White to Mariah Carey, I knew, I knew your, your, the, your true character was revealed right then and there. I said, that's really who you is, bitch. That's who you are. I said, there she go. There she go right there. There she go. She be sitting over there acting hard and saying she will shoot this and Says she'll shoot that and doing this and doing it. Bitch ain't going to do a goddamn thing. Bitch just sitting over there getting on the internet trolling. And because she putting on a, a good performance at the circus and y'all keep coming to the circus to see her bitch ass, she just keep on performing. I don't blame the bitch. She like, man, I ain't got this much money, you know what I mean, in my life. You know, I've never sit up there, you know what I mean, and did my thing like this. So, yes, I'm going to keep on uh, acting a fool. So she going to think of who, like, what can I say that will blow their mind? What can I say that's so disrespectful? What can I say, you know, that's over the top? You know, what new antic can I come up with? See, and that's sad that you haven't gained enough knowledge and wisdom within your existence where you could just convey knowledge and wisdom and make people come to your platform. It's sad that you got to talk about black men that are no longer, they not even here. They're dead just to get the attention of people. That is sad because the bitch even said it herself. She said, when I was trying, you know, to get people to help me do this and to help me do that, nobody would come to my aid when I, when I came up with this fundraiser, when I started this organization, nobody wanted to unite with me at this time. It wasn't until I started trolling and I started doing this and that. Yeah, so basically you had to troll. You had to be ignorant. You had to be fraudulent. You had to take on a role that's not you to be in the position that you're in today. And bitch, you barely got no attention. Like I said, you only... You only got money to those that ain't got no goddamn money, bitch. Because I done seen the clothes that you wear. You know what I mean? All these OPP outfits and shit that you wearing and OPP jackets and, you know what I mean? These old ass uh, cars and shit, you know what I mean? That uh, if you put all your cars, you know what I mean, together, it, it probably wouldn't even amount to a good 50000 bitch. That ain't no motherfucking money, ho. Yeah, yeah, that ain't no motherfucking money, bitch. You, I ain't never seen you one time fly. You know what I mean? You fly to a motherfucker that don't know what fly is. You know what I mean? These kids don't know no better. You know what I mean? These broke ass niggas, they don't know no goddamn better, bitch. I knew you was I knew you wouldn't have no motherfucking money, bitch, when you was bragging about five thousand dollars, bitch. The shit that you be bragging about, bitch, I done set up there and donated that shit again and again to different charities, ho. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I be seeing you in different videos just bragging about, 
you know, get money. But the truth is, bitch, you never had no motherfucking money, bitch. Yeah, you ain't never had no money, bitch. You know what I mean? You ain't never had no money. You know, you're a smoker. You know what I mean? You're a crackhead, you know? And you had you you trying to hide your drug habit and shit like that. You probably, you probably sit up there, you understand me, and got your eye. You know, that's probably how you lost your vision in one motherfucking eye and shit, bitch. You you uh owe somebody uh some money for some shit that you uh had took. Some bitch. You know what I mean? But uh it's reason why your eye like that. It's a reason why God allowed that to even happen to you. You know what I mean? And see, God showing the people right there, they too dumb to see it. You know what I mean? That you only got one eye. That means you can't see every goddamn. You can't even see this game the way you supposed to see this game, bitch. Because you got one eye. You know what I mean? How the fuck you going to see this game the way you supposed to see it, bitch? And you over there with one motherfucking eye. Come on, bitch. That's like half the vision, bitch. That's a 50%. No. Nah. You know what I mean? Where the other 20 at, ho? Bitch coming with 120. And, and see, that's another thing. I expect motherfuckers to be on your side, bitch, because uh, it's a lot of handicapped motherfuckers in this world. Yeah, it's a lot of retarded looking motherfuckers in this world. It's a lot of motherfuckers that's without. So I expect every nigga that only got one eye or one nose or one ear or one arm or one leg, you know what I mean, or one bitch, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, I expect motherfuckers to sit up there and laugh at you and uh, be on your side, bitch. You know what I mean? Because you like the hero for every one-eyed ass nigga. They just be talking shit. You the hero for all the niggas that never been nobody before the internet. You the hero for all of the motherfuckers that wasn't handsome, wasn't fly, wasn't charismatic and magnetic in high school and shit like that. And now, you know what I mean? Uh, like Jay said, you know, you done scribbled in your notepad at your folks pad and created your life. Now you're on the Internet, you know what I mean? Uh, being somebody that you always wanted to be. Bitch, you was nobody in the streets. No, nah, didn't nobody really know you. You were just another little dusty ass nigga. Just walking around. You wasn't having bitches. I'm so, hey, stop, hey, hey, don't tell, don't tell that lie. Not another motherfucking time. Don't you dare tell these kids another test of lie. Yeah, don't tell these kids that you was pimping. Because, bitch, you ain't never motherfucking sent no hoe to no blade. Don't no pimps know you. Don't no hoes know you. You ain't never been in the game before. Knock that shit off. You know what I mean? But then again, you are a smoker. And smokers do smoker shit, so you might have caught a, a naked city girl, a free mind experience type of bitch, you know what I mean, and, and, and sent that, you know what I mean, on a loop. You might have did some shit like that, you know, but you ain't never, don't, don't no official pimp know you, my nigga. You know what I mean? Quit, 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 quit that out. You know what I mean? The truth of the matter is, man, you done watched enough Pimp and Ken DVDs and enough pimping DVDs or you, the, the truth probably is you done watched enough of my videos, you know what I mean, like a lot of y'all do, because you love the way I talk, you love the way I sound, you know what I mean, and you mimic my style, you know, so all of the macking and the verbal attacking and shit, man, you sit up there and memorize words that you was mesmerized by, by other niggas and shit like that, man, you ain't never been no goddamn pimp, man, you know what I mean, you ain't never did no macking, you, come on, man, knock that shit off, man. Like I said, YouTube has enabled uh, nobodies to become somebody. That's one thing YouTube has done. You know, YouTube has made a way out of no way for motherfuckers that was never doing anything in the streets, really wasn't having pussy like that, really wasn't having money like that, to sit up there, you know what I mean, from their observation, from seeing others have fornication and accumulation in the location of the streets, for you niggas to get on YouTube, you know what I mean, and pretty much act like the guys that you always wanted to be like back in high school or in your hood. That's what YouTube has done. See, one thing about it, charlatan, whether good or bad, whether good history or bad history, I got history. That's, that's, that's the only thing. You know what I mean? And you go to different states in the United States, whether they got something good or bad to say, one thing they're going to say is everything that's regarding sinful to pee is always with a bitch. Have you noticed that? They be like, oh, man, what about that case over there? That was with a bitch. Oh, man, what about that domestic violence? That was with a bitch. All my shit is always with bitches. Always. If sin got some money... Guess who I got it from? The bitch. 
If I bought that, guess who? The bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't never did no pimping, man. Knock that shit off, man. Nigga trying to act like he was a street nigga and doing street things and having things and things like that. Man, before you two, you probably never knew what it was like to have $10,000 all at one time. I see right through your bitch dirty ass. I see right through you, man. You ain't never had $10,000 by the grace of God at one time, son. You know, but you telling these testimonies like you was having money and doing your thing. Man, knock that shit off, man. You know what I mean? Stop it, man. Knock that shit off, man. You never had no money. And, and, and I said it once, and let me say it again. Stop talking to people in California or other places where the cost of living is up to the heavens, and you sitting over there and nowhere to be found, you know, uh, Texas, you know, just talking crazy. The cost of living, man, we know, you know, no disrespect to Texas, I love y'all, but the cost of living in Texas, nigga, is the best definition of cheap. So how you gonna sit up there and talk about money with niggas that's living in Cali in areas like that and you sitting over there and nowhere to be found across the street in the basement, behind the basement, attic, Texas. It don't go together. It don't go together. It don't go together, man. And since you having so much money, bitch, go to Z Gallery, go to the furniture store or something. You know, all of that, uh, all that Old Testament ass furniture that you got in the house. All that book of Nehemiah, Genesis, book of Job, furniture that you got in the house. Yeah, bitch, it's time to motherfucker upgrade, ho. Yeah, that old ass furniture, that's not cutting it. That ain't it. I'm talking about ain't nobody, y'all ain't living like this. You right, bitch, ain't nobody living with that old ass furniture. Nigga got all that Methuselah ass furniture up in the goddamn house and shit. I'm talking about ain't nobody living like that. That nigga got furniture in this house that's older than God. That nigga got furniture in this. <laughs> that nigga got furniture in this house that's older than God, Jesus, the, the Holy Spirit. Nigga, come on, man. But you having all this money though. Come on, knock that shit off, nigga. Niggas get niggas got a Madam C.J. Walker. <laughs> niggas got a Madam C.J. Walker chair. How the fuck you got a Madam C.J. Walker chair, bitch? We we didn't even know that shit existed, man. Get all that antique ass shit out, man. Talking about he having all this money. Knock that shit off, <laughs> family. You're not having no money, man. See, when you really having money, man, you can't have this shit even really when you want to have this shit. You know, and we when we look at that motherfucking furniture, you know what I mean? We can tell, man. You, you, you really stop that, man. That is a house that your great-grandmama left the family, and it's a family house, and you just so happen to have your dusty ass in there, bitch. You not having no money, man. Knock that shit off. You don't want to go credit with me. You don't want to go bank accounts with me. You don't want to go portfolio with me. You don't want to do anything of that with me, little child. We, I'm out your league. Now, here it is. You done been on Say Cheese. You done been on Vlad. You got two, see, you got 200,000 views, but bitch, you ain't got $200,000. See, like I said, your priorities is all fucked up. Now, here you is, you a 50-year-old black woman, and you bragging about having 200,000 views, and you don't even have half of $200,000, bitch. Bitch, you confused, ho. Get your mind right. Instead of jumping your one-ass, stanky breath ass on YouTube, talking about this pimping, bitch, you know what I mean? Do something with your life. Oh, I got 200. I got more views than Boosie. I got more views than, um, you know what I mean? The other dude, uh, 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 T. E. Kirkland, you know what I mean? I got more views, you know what I mean? The red, I got the most views on there. Yeah, bitch. You got 200,000 views in one day on Vlad platform. That's just like a hoe to be sitting over there. Yeah, did you see what I did for daddy? Yeah, I sit up there and gave daddy $200,000. I just gave daddy, you know what I mean, a Rolex watch. I just gave daddy, you know what I mean, a motherfucking Patek Philippe. I just gave daddy a Bentley. I just gave daddy a new house. I just gave daddy a $200,000 chain. That's just like a hoe to be bragging about what she done for daddy. You's a good bitch. 
You know what I mean? You's a good ass bitch. I can't take that away from you, ho. You's a good motherfucking bitch. I'm not going to, hey, matter of fact, we need more bitches like you. Happy about what you did for daddy. I like what you, I like that bitch that you happy about what you did for daddy, bitch. I mean, that bitch sat up there and gave me Vlad some money. And she ran, <laughs> she ran her little happy ass to YouTube. She's like, yeah, you know, daddy said that I got the most views. You know, even the rappers ain't competing with me. You know, the rappers and, you know what I mean, the other, the game bangers and everything. You know, Vlad, Vlad, before I walked out the door, Vlad spanked me on my ass and said, good job, bitch. You know what I mean? I just smiled. He's like, keep coming, keep coming. You know what I mean? Keep coming. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know Vlad spanked you on your ass and said, good job, bitch, before you left out the motherfucking door. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. You know what I mean? That's the, Hey, that's just like these hoes, too. One thing about it, when you didn't sit up there and either dick the hoe down or you didn't gave that bitch some good compliments to hit the pavement so she can bring back that development or that improvement back, man. You know what I mean? When you sitting over there giving that bitch an all-you-can-hear buffet or this motherfucking ism, of some good knowledge and wisdom, yeah, man, she gonna have some gratitude, man, and she gonna come back, you understand me, and bring you another motherfucking multitude. So, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, charlatan, we know that you sitting over there standing up like the Statue of Liberty for Vlad, bitch. We know. Yeah, you's a good hoe. Hey, you hoes need to sit up there and look at charlatan, man. Y'all can learn a lot from charlatan motherfucking white. Yeah, you hoes need to do better. Yeah, put some pep in your step. Be happy about your horn. That's one thing I like about Charlatan White. He's happy about his motherfucking horn. You bitches need to be happy about your horn. Don't just motherfucking hoe. Put some joy in your ha put some joy in your shit, bitch. Don't just catch no date. Bitch, you come to the blade happy. You come to the blade smiling. You come to the blade with high vibration, bitch. You don't just come, you know what I mean, just doing dates and shit. You bitches can learn from Charlatan White. That's a good ass hoe. Now, you know what I mean? She was lost when she was trying to game bang. You know, that shit didn't go nowhere. The bitch tried to pimp. That didn't go nowhere. But when that bitch became a hoe, when that bitch chose up with Vlad, that's one thing Vlad did. You know what I mean? Vlad told that bitch, like, bitch, I can do something with you. I see something in you that you don't even see in your motherfucking self, ho. Yeah, bitch, I see something in you that you don't see in yourself, bitch. I've been watching you. I seen you on Say Cheese. I seen you sitting over there talking about your own people and shit. Now, one thing on my platform, a lot of them motherfuckers jump shipped on me. Yeah, they didn't chose up on me. I said something about Farrakhan, you know what I mean? And some of my hoes didn't like that shit. You know what I mean? Different hoes, they left me. Different hoes ain't, ain't fucking with me no more. They, they ain't coming on my platform. But one thing about it, yeah, bitch, you know what I mean? If you fuck with me, yeah, I won't even need them motherfucking hoes no more. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, bitch, I see the twinkle in your motherfucking eye. Yeah, like they say, bitch, you know what I mean? One good hoe, you know what I mean? It's better than five, five funky bitches. You know what I mean? Rather than five funky hoes. Yeah, five funky bitches can't outdo one good ass hoe. Yeah, bitch, you know, man, I like something about you. Vlad was sweating that hoe. Vlad was like, yeah, I like, I like me a good Texas, bitch. You know what I mean? Vlad was sitting over there sweating the shit out. Yeah, bitch, I seen you out there on that Harry Hines. <laughs> hey, that nigga Vlad was sweating the shit out of Charleston, uh, Charlatan White, like, yeah, bitch, I see you out there on that motherfucking scary Harry, bitch. I see you out there on that motherfucking Harry Hines, bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, Vlad TV for the record, though. Head and the money, though, bitch. You know what I mean? Fuck with a real one, though. Yeah, I seen you on that motherfucking Say Cheese, uh, Say Cheese TV. You know what I mean? But yeah, bitch, how about fucking with motherfucking Vlad, though? Yeah, what about my pimping, though? Yeah, fuck with a real one, though, bitch. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, a lot of motherfuckers ain't fucking with you because they, they afraid of your age. But, bitch, I can take you to another motherfucking stage and put you on front page, bitch. Yeah, fuck with Vlad one time, though. Yeah, Vlad TV for the record, ho. Out the Bay Area, bitch. I like that. I like that little Texas, ho. Yeah, I like that little Texas, ho. You know what I mean? Had, had charlatan smiling like a motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? And see, that's when Vlad knew, you know what I mean, that Charlatan was a real one when he seen that bitch down on Bissonette. 
You know what I mean? First he saw that bitch down on that scary Harry, saw you down there, you understand me, in that Dallas, but that's when he really knew you was about it, bitch. You know what I mean? When he seen the pimping, sweating your motherfucking ass, but you stayed in pocket on that bissonette. You know what I mean? Vlad knew that he had to have you, ho. Yeah, Vlad was like, yeah, I got a good one, man. This bitch sitting over there dissing Jay Prince. Jay Prince ain't even thinking about this bitch. This bitch will say any motherfucking thing. You know what I mean? A lot of them hoes be scared to say the shit that this bitch be saying. I see some good qualities in this hoe. Yeah, she like a she like a white man. She don't even like her people like that. I like a bitch that don't like her family. I like a bitch that don't have a, a, a family like this. Yeah, I'm going to get some good years out of this hoe. Yeah, 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 I'm your family, bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 Vlad, Vlad in your ear, bitch. You know what I mean? Vlad in your mind, ho. Yeah, that's how Vlad came at that bitch, man. Yeah. Yeah, I see that you willing to disrespect Farrakhan and, and Nipsey and Pimp C and, you know what I mean? You willing to disrespect DMX? I like this bitch here. Yeah. yeah, that little bitch got a mouth on her. Yeah, yeah, you know what pimps do with mouths, you know, when a, a bitch got a good mouth on her, you see, you know what a pimp do with a, a, a good mouth, yeah, gonna sit that shit out for the nation, yeah, so the nation can have some participation, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, man, Vlad getting, Vlad getting his bankrolls out that hole, he like, man, I like this bitch right there, this bitch, this bitch will sit up there and hop her ass on the internet and diss a whole state of California, shit, this. Crips and Bloods and shit for attention. I like this bitch. Now all, now all of these hoes, now check how Vlad was like. Vlad was like, all of these hoes like attention. But this bitch right here, she'll disrespect the dead. She'll disrespect the minister. She'll do anything for a motherfucking attention, man. You know what I mean? I like this bitch right here. See, Vlad like, see, I like a bitch that's good for the pimping, man. Yeah, you know, they, they a lot of pimps didn't want to fuck with the bitch because she older and shit like that. But, you know, Vlad liked them good Texas hoes. Yeah, yeah, them Bay Area niggas liked them good Texas hoes, man. Yeah, 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 I got some good Bay Area partners, man. They liked them good Texas hoes, man. You know what I mean? Vlad out there, Bay Area, man. He seen, how, he, he seen the way Charlatan White was sitting over there getting them views and shit like that. He liked the bitch style and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, help the bitch... Vlad sit up there and uh, 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 she chose up with Vlad. And, and ever since she chose up with Vlad, that bitch been getting more motherfucking views and shit. You see, she got a little chain now. Yeah, the bitch got a little chain and shit now. Vlad then fixed that hoe right on up. See, that's what the pimping do. See, you can't say that you've been pimp and you don't see nothing better in your life. You know what I mean? That's one thing pimping gonna do. Pimping gonna sit up there, you know what I mean, and, and give you better attire. You know what I mean? Give you inspiration for a better desire to live life. You know what I mean? That's what Vlad did for that bitch, man. You can't say Vlad didn't pimp. You know? And she happy with Vlad, too. Out of everybody, you notice how that bitch had come back? You know, in the video, she like, yeah, shout out to Vlad. You know what I mean? She'll disrespect everybody else. She gonna disrespect all her people. But she ain't gonna never get out of pocket with Vlad, though. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because these hoes respect pimping, though. That's why. Yeah, them hoes will disrespect them niggas, man. Yeah, they're going to disrespect them rappers, man. Bitch going to even disrespect the minister, man. But one thing about them hoes, man, they're going to respect some real pimping, man. Yeah, that bitch really respects some pimping around this motherfucker, though, man. Yeah, that Charla, that one thing about that charlatan white bitch, yeah, she respects some pimping, dog. Don't get it twisted. Oh, man, charlatan white, she'd just say anything. She'd just say everything, you know, out of her mouth. You know what I mean? That, that bitch, man, you know what I mean? She crazy with it, man. You know what I mean? That bitch a fool with it, man. Man, that one thing about that bitch, man, she gonna respect some pimping, man. Yeah, Vlad got that bitch in pocket. You know what I mean? Don't ever get it fucked up. Like, man, that bitch hard, man. She'll disrespect her own mother, man. You know what I mean? Charles, man. Man, man, he, she fearless. Yeah, yeah. She fearless with them niggas. With them square niggas. You know? But like a real hoe, one thing a real hoe gonna do is respect some pimping. And that's one thing you understand me, Charleston, do with Vlad. You ain't gonna never catch that hoe getting out of bounds, you know what I mean, with Vlad 
why she with Vlad. Why? Because that bitch in pocket. She's a good bitch. Disrespect her own people even to get the attention, you know what I mean, of her folks. You know what I mean? That's a good hoe, man. Hey, man, hey, that's what, hey, 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 check it out, man. And this Pippin, man, hey, I know this going to sound harmless. Hey, man, hey, 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 but just like God said in his word, you know what I mean, that I bring a sword, I cause division. You know, sometimes, man, you know, a hoe got to leave her family for this shit. Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know what I mean, a bitch will sit up there, man, and leave her friends, man, her motherfucking, you understand me, people that she grew up with. Yeah, she won't even speak to mama about this shit. Yeah, best way to describe Charlotte White, some of y'all ain't seen it, some of y'all have, is Joycelyn Savage. Yeah, Zo uh, Joycelyn Savage that fuck with R. Kelly. It's a video of uh, Joycelyn Savage family. Her family was trying to come up and talk to her, her sisters, her mother, and that bitch stayed in pocket. She ain't speak to her mama. She ain't speak to the sisters. She ain't speak to none of them. She spoke in the vernacular of silence to her own motherfucking family because she was in pocket with the nigga she was fucking with. And that's just like Charlatan White. You know what I mean? In pocket. He just, he just in pocket, just like Joycelyn Savage. So when you think uh, uh, Charlatan White, he got the same relationship with Vlad that Joycelyn Savage got with R. Kelly. You know what I mean? That's a good bitch right there, man. Now touch somebody and say, that's a good bitch. Lean to your neighbor and say, neighbor, that's a good bitch. I want you to look to your left right now. If you don't mind, I want, I, I want you to look to the left right now and say, neighbor, uh, 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 that's a good bitch. Yeah, I want you to do that right now. Say, neighbor, neighbor, that's a good bitch. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a good bitch, man. You know, but you know what? This is that time, man. This is that time. Matter of fact, uh, I don't even see you guys no more. Amen. It's, it's time for me to speak to the soul, you know what I mean, a, a charlatan white. You know what I mean? I've been speaking to y'all no longer. Uh, 854 of y'all, y'all not even here no more. It's time for me to speak, you know what I mean, a charlatan white. Charlatan white, I know you listening right now. I know, bitch, that you've been listening to this service and your heart is pricked. I know right now that you've been listening to this and you know what I mean? Right now, you thinking about giving your life, you know, to God. You thinking to yourself like, you know, it's time for me to change my life. I'm tired of being a bitch ass nigga. I'm tired of sitting over there talking and speaking on other people. Amen. It's time for altar call. Altar call workers, get up. Amen. All of the altar walk call workers, get up right now. Amen. It's time for uh, Charlatan White. And for any other bitch ass nigga from his platform or any sucker ass nigga, you understand me, that's here right now, they've been doing the same ass shit. You understand me, that Charlotte White has been doing. It's time for altar call right now. Amen. It's time. Come on. Come on. Let's talk about it. Amen. Charlatan. Amen. Right now. Wherever you are, whether you're driving in your car or whether you're in the house, amen, I want you to know that God <laughs> is able. God is able to do something for you right now, son. Amen, you might be saying to yourself, sin, I've been a bitch-ass nigga all my life. I've been a sucker-ass nigga all my life. I've never been nobody. And this is my only chance to be somebody by talking about everybody else. Amen. I, 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 I don't know if God ah, can do something for me. Amen. But, 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 but sin, I've been listening to you and my heart is pricked. And Charlatan, I want you to know that God is able to to do something right now, if he's able to move and if he's able to depart the Red Sea, if he's able to make the lame to walk and the blind to see, if he's able to turn the discouraged into encourage, he can do something for you right now, son. You don't gotta be in that predicament right now, son. You know, you don't gotta be battling with the spirit of homosexuality. You don't have to sit up there and dream and fantasize about raping white women anymore, Charleston. 
You don't got to fantasize about the white booty of a, of a white man no more. Amen. You don't got to send dick pictures to a man's phone anymore. You don't got to have uh, consensual sexual conversations with another man right now, Charlotte. You don't, oh, you don't got to do it right now. If you want to be changed right now, I'm here to let you know I'm God's fireman. And I'm here to let you know that your house is on fire. Ah! But if you're ready to give your life to God, if you're ready to stop being a bitch ass nigga, you can sit up there and receive help right now. Lift your hands, lift your hand. Oh, there you go, right there you go, 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 right there, there you go, there you go, uh, 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 there you go. Amen. Now, it might be another sucker ass nigga in the room tonight. And Charlatan is putting his hands up and, 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 and why the altar workers are dealing with charlatan right now it might be a bitch ass nigga in this audience right now and you've done the same sucker ass shit amen you know that you snitched on somebody amen you 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 you, you, you might have you know a uh, uh, toad on somebody in your life you know that you've been a mark ass nigga and you gave incriminating information amen and then some of you right now you might have thought about having fornication with another man, amen? You, 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 you might be in the audience right now and you might be an individual that has fantasized about being with a white man like charlatan. Because charlatan said that there's no booty like a white man's booty in jail, amen? But just like God is delivering him, God can deliver your bitch ass right now. All you got to do is lift your hands towards heaven, oh! And say, Lord, don't let me die like this. Lord, Lord, I, 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 I've had thoughts that I shouldn't have had. Uh, and I want to change my life. I don't want to die a bitch ass nigga. Uh, lift your hands right now. And I want everybody to pray this prayer. Lord, I know you to be a creator. I know you to be the healer. I know you to be the salvation giver. I know that you to give liberation. I know that you can deliver me from any abomination that I'm involved in. Lord, I know that you are able, you are a deliverer, and I believe you to be that. And Lord, I'm asking you to come into my life. I don't want to die a sucker ass nigga. I don't want to die a mark ass nigga. I want you to do something for me right now. And in the name of your Harishai, he will do it right now. All these things we ask right now, in the name of, of your house. Uh. I'm blowing on you right now. You might be a mark ass nigga. I'm about to I'm about to walk past every bitch ass nigga right now. Every bitch ass nigga remain standing on your feet. I'm about to walk past you right now and blow on you. And you won't be a bitch ass nigga no more. to walk into a newness of life I want you to be a new man I want you to be a new creature for if any man be in Christ old things are passed away and behold all things become new amen you won't be defeated by the sins of your yesterday amen I want you to walk into a newness of today Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm a new man. I'm no longer that sucker man. I'm no longer that man that had thoughts about another man. I'm no longer that man that thought about raping uh, 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 sisters and, and, and mothers and things like that. I, I'm done with that. God is coming to my life. And just like that, you're a new creature. Amen. I, I, I appreciate all of you for coming. I appreciate everybody that's in attendance right now. I appreciate everybody uh, for coming. Thank you. I, uh, you guys have dealt with me uh, for over, you know, 90 minutes, man. Thank you. Thank you. I want to keep going, but 
at the same time, I, I, I got something in my spirit probably is telling me that this won't be uh, the only time, you know, that maybe I might have to minister another time. But if, 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 if this if it was something that was said within this video that inspired you, that blessed you, or maybe you didn't laugh all day and this video touched you in a way that you haven't been touched all week, I want you to hit the like button before you leave. I appreciate all the contributions, but the greatest contribution you can give me is hitting that like button and, you know, making the notifications and the recommendations for the video, you know, I mean, come, you know, so blessings to everybody. I appreciate everybody uh, for coming in attendance on tonight. I love you. I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Y'all stay blessed and courage until next time.